it did take you a while to take your FE and you did fail it a couple times, but you got your PE on your first try and you only prepared for it for like a month and a half. And yes. I just want you to know that what you did there is remarkable. Oh, yeah. Everybody now. now let's talk about the schedule. So you passed your FE in October and when did you start preparing for the PE? Did you start right away or did you give yourself a break before you dived in into the PE? Uh, I really didn't take any break. Uh, I just wanted to start right away because mm -hmm. the knowledge was fresh in my memory. And, and that's what I would definitely recommend uh, everyone to do. Uh, yet, I guess one week of mental break, I, I would rec definitely recommend, but not be like me, like start right away. But I didn't take any break. So I took my exam in somewhere in mid-December. Uh, it just prepared for like uh, one and a half months. Uh, or I guess, yeah, one and a half months for my PE. And that I think that worked for me. Yeah. And, and that's like when you told me that we talked a little bit, we chatted after you passed your PE. I was really impressed. And I think I told you that. And I just want to say it again. Um, it did take you a while to take your FE and you did fail it a couple times, but you got your PE on your first try and you only prepared for it for like a month and a half. And yes. I just want you to know that what you did there is remarkable. Like it's incredible what you did. And I'm just truly proud of you. And, uh, and I just want to share this so that the people who are watching, if you have failed your FE exam before a couple times, don't feel discouraged because Malik here really proved to us that, you know, even if you do fail a couple times, you can pass your FE and then get your PE right away as well. So, and yeah, thank you for being here as well and just sharing your story. I think it's going to really inspire a lot of people. Sure. So how many hours did you study per week while you're preparing for your PE? I would say 20 to 30 hours. Max. 20 to 30 hours. Yes, okay. a week. Yes. A week. Okay. Was, was, do you feel like, was that more than the FE? Uh, yeah, I, I think a little bit more. I had to because the FE, I was, uh, because I, I, I I took it a couple of times, so I knew the how how the questions are formatted and where to study, where to look for. But this one, I have to do also a lot of research myself uh, because I had very short time frame in my mind, and I knew I had to put a lot of hard work in such a short time. So I had to, uh, you know, bump up my study hours uh, to really prepare prepare myself for for the exam. Okay, and so. So you study 20 to 30 hours a week. You've done that for a month and a half. Do you remember how much time did you spend studying for the breath? And then how much did you spend studying for the depth section? It's mostly the depth. I, I would say mm. I, I, would, I would just, you know, revise uh, or review the lectures uh, for, the, uh, for the morning section because I already had that fresh in my memory, it was mostly the depth section that I, I was struggling with. Mm, that makes sense. Because you just took the FE, you just went through our courses. Yes. You had that material still fresh in your mind. So and I would want to add, uh, sorry, I, okay. I would want to add that, uh, you know, the the morning section in, in the PE exam is is very, is is really easy. If you have taken, if we have, if you have taken the Kenzo's course, because it, it touches beyond what is required in the FE exam to really prepare you for the for the PE. So that would be enough in the exam. Yeah, because I feel like I really covered, like you said, like in depth. And then you also, you guys get like a good foundation in some certain subjects there, which will help you not only pass your FE, but also do really well in the, the breath section of the PE. Um, awesome.